people don't pick up on the early signs of addiction. I mean, I probably needed treatment when I was 13 years old. By the time Morgan Thompson graduated high school, she started using heroin. And from there, her addiction took off. It just got harder and harder to keep that double life going. And I went into treatment uh, in 2009. Um, I was very lucky to have a supportive family. And it's been almost nine years since she stopped using drugs, and now her mission, working at Prevention Links, is to help put an end to a growing opioid crisis. According to provisional data from the CDC, New Jersey saw over 2,000 drug overdose deaths from July 2016 to July 2017, an almost 35 percent increase. Only four other states saw greater increases. Why do you think it is here? I think in part it's because we have some of the purest heroin in the nation, um, especially here in the uh, Elizabeth and Newark port. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of drug trafficking that comes through this area, New York, New Jersey. Um, and so it's readily available, it's inexpensive, and it's very strong. In October, the president declared the opioid crisis a public health emergency. And last month, the Department of Health and Human Services extended the declaration. President Trump addressed the issue at the White House Opioid Summit. So we're going to have to be very strong on penalties. Hopefully we can do some litigation against the, the opioid companies. I think it's very important. Earlier this week, Attorney General Jeff Sessions announced the Justice Department would be supporting one of the states filing a lawsuit against an opioid manufacturer. A lot of damage has already been done, and there's a real need for, you know, an investment in treatment and recovery. The CEO says they've been able to launch some of the programs out of their center because of funding from the Comprehensive Addiction and Recovery Act, which was signed into law in 2016 by former President Obama. It's a way to authorize federal funds to be given to states for prevention, education, and treatment against the opioid epidemic. We launched a program here where people in our community can walk into certain police stations and ask for assistance as opposed to getting arrested. And earlier this month, Congress allocated $6 billion over two years to fund the fight. You better believe that I'm going to fight as hard as I can to bring much of that funding to New Jersey so that organizations like Prevention Links can save as many lives as they can. Morgan Thompson told the crowd let her story serve as an example of what is possible. In Elizabeth Leah Mishkin, NJTV News.